What's up everyone? This is going to be a scouting report on the PS4 champion from the Las Vegas Challenger event put on by Millennial Esports, Problem. I'll be pulling data from four of Problem's games on that day, which will include group games against Air and Poison, along with his semi-final and finals matchups against Figgy and Carey, respectively. Problem showed us an offense that very sparingly used the ever-popular Gun Bunch, opting instead to run 49 of his 81 total plays from single back deuce close, which is a powerhouse formation in its own right. His main complementary formation, single back ace wing, is a formation that is not routinely used competitively, so it was interesting to see how dominant Problem's rushing attack out of it actually was. Problem ended up running four different plays a double digit amount of times, those of which include HB Wham, HB Stretch, and PA Misdirection out of Deuce Close, along with the HB Stretch out of Single Back Ace Wing. The Ace Wing Stretch was actually his most called play, being called a total of 19 times throughout the four game span. This number may be slightly inflated, however, due to the fact that he called it 11 times in his game against Figgy, where Problem averaged 12.18 yards per carry with it. Now compare that to the other eight times he ran it, where he averaged just north of 20 yards per carry, and it seemed like nobody had a sufficient answer on the defensive side of the ball for the ace wing stretch. Combine this with a heavy dosage of deuce close, and you end up with roughly 85% of Problem's offensive plays. The other 15% contained 10 unique plays and 7 unique formations, as you can see here. If you guys have watched Problem over the years, you know he generally leads a run-oriented offense that looks to control the clock and grind out points while playing lockdown defense. This can often lead to close games where his experience tends to win out over his opponents down the stretch. This tournament was no different as Problem displayed about a 68 to 32 run to pass ratio which has been by far the most lopsided of the competitors I have looked at to this point. With this attack, he ended up averaging 77.7 .7 yards per game through the air while grounding out 140 yards per game on the ground. Now he used the Vikings throughout the tournament where he favored the speedier and more elusive McKinnon over the more bruising style of Murray. This led to McKinnon rushing for 507 yards and 8 touchdowns throughout this 4 game span, accounting for over 58% of his total offense. Now in terms of how Problem approached the passing game, he only really did so when he absolutely needed to. This led to him only throwing 17 passes over this stretch, where he ended up going 14 of 17 for 311 yards and 2 touchdowns. He finished with a 82.35% completion percentage, which would shatter the single season record currently held by Drew Brees. His go-to passing plays were PA misdirection and tight end angle out of Deuce Close, along with the bunch trail out of Gun Bunch Week. These three plays ended up accounting for over 84% of his total passing plays. For his PA misdirection setup, he generally just dragged the receiver who initially runs a corner out, resulting in a high-low setup over the middle of the field along with a backside drag. The primary beneficiaries of this play were generally the tight end on the shallow crosser or the wide receiver on the deep post, namely Stephon Diggs who would create solid separation using both his speed and 91 route running. Now for tight end angle, he mostly ran it stock after simply blocking the halfback. This would result in a flood on one side of the field while having a trailing tight end attacking the intermediate middle. Lastly, for his bunch trail adjustments, he once again favored a flood concept where he put his outside receiver on an out route and tight end on a clear out streak. He then would motion the far receiver to the outside before snapping, resulting in a strong side flood with a backside deep post. As you can see, problem favored flood concepts that were safe, isolated defenders, and resulted in easy reads for himself. A great way to know how someone wants to play offensively is watching what they do on first down. In Problem's case, out of 36 first down opportunities, he ended up running the ball on 35 of them. Now unsurprisingly, out of those 35 runs, 33 of them comprised of either the deuce close combo of the stretch or wham, or the ace wing stretch. Due to the fact that nobody was really able to slow Problem down on the ground, he never had to move away from the strategy, which helped him stay in his comfort zone throughout the entire tournament. I think this is also a testament to Problem's discipline in staying with his game plan, as most players would eventually get antsy for big plays and try to air it out at some point. 
Now, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know what you guys thought and let me know who you guys would like to see these types of videos done on in the future. And until next time, guys, take it easy.